question number 26. When the number halfway between 2 over 16 and 7 over 12 is added to 1, the answer is. Okay, so first we need to find the number halfway between 2 over 16 and 7 over 12. Okay, we, we need to find a number between two fractions that have different denominators, right? 2 over 16 and 7 over 12. So we first need to find a common denominator. Now, we can do this in many ways. Um, one way would be to multiply 12 by 16 right away, and you'll get a common denominator, but the numbers are going to be a little bit big. Or you can start trying to look for uh, the lowest common denominator, okay? Um, like a lowest common multiple, which will be your lowest common denominator. So we can try, we'll try with the first number, the biggest number. So we go with 16, next would be 32, next would be 48. Okay, 48 is divisible by 12, right? 12, 24, then we have 36, then we have 48. So the lowest common multiple here is 48. Now, another trick would be to look at the answer choices. If you look at the answer choices, you're going to see a denominator of 48, of 12, of 16, of 48, of 48. Now you can take this as a tip. Which of these is a number that it, uh, is divisible by both 16 and 12? It's only 48, so we know that this is probably the lowest one because that's what we have in the answer choice. So 2 over 16 will change to something over 48. So to go from 16 to 48, you need to multiply by 3, so 2 times 3, 6. Similarly, 4, 7 over 12, To become something over 48, we multiply by 4. So 7 times 4 up here is 28. So these are my two numbers now. Okay, let me just get my 8s in place here. Okay, and here's the one in blue. Okay, there you go. Okay, now, the two numbers I now have, or the two fractions I now have, are 6 over 48 and... 28 over 48. Okay, what's the number between 6 and 28? Okay, do 28 minus 6, you get 22. Divide that by 2, it's 11. And then add 11 to 6, so it's 17. Because 17 minus 11 is 6, 17 plus 1, 11 is 28. So it's the one in the middle exactly, 17 over 48. But remember the question said, when that number is added to 1, so I need to add it to 1. Since I have a denominator of 48, then 1 can be rewritten as 48 over 48. Okay, just so you don't get confused. What is that 48 over 48? It's the 1. Okay, I'm adding it to 1, which is 48 over 48. Okay, so my denominator is 48. Let's add the numerator. 17 plus 48 gives me 48 plus 10. 58, 58 plus 7, 65. So 65 over 48, yes, the answer is E. Okay, now, was there an easier way to do this? Yes. Was there a one second way to do this? Was there a way to just look at the answer choices and right away choose E? Yes. What? The question said, we want to find a fraction between two fractions. So whatever it is, it's a fraction, okay? But we're going to add that fraction to 1. So the answer has to be greater than 1, right? Now, if you look at all of these answer choices, the only answer choice that is greater than 1 is E, because it's the only one that has a numerator bigger than the denominator. So this is actually a trick question. I could have just looked at it, looked at the answer choices, and chosen um, E right away.